A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. After adding products to the order form, you click the place order button, then this next page, order summary comes up to show details of the placed order, in this video we're going to create this page, this page will be the last step in the order creation wizard. Click the create page button. By selecting this blank page option page is created from scratch. Page mode model dialog appears above a normal page. Use navigation option. Set navigation preference to map to an existing option. Set existing menu entry to orders. Click create page button to complete the page creation. Blank page created. Click the root node. Set dialog template to wizard model dialog. Right click the wizard progress bar node. Select create region. Set the following properties for this new region. This region was also created while creating previous two order creation wizard pages. Right click the wizard body node. Select create region. Set the following properties for this region. Do same as just like in previous video we've defined the region as show legacy. Then PL SQL dynamic content legacy, which is based on PL SQL that enables you to render any HTML or text. Source code link is in video description, open part 7 folder to get files used in video. Make sure validation must be successful. Add another region under the wizard body node. Set the following properties for this region. This region will carry line item information at runtime. Right click the order lines region. Select create page item. The value for this item was set in the PL SQL code defined in previous video, and utilized in the codes defined in previous step to fetch order information. Right click the wizard buttons node. Select create region. Enter buttons for its name. Set its template to buttons container. This region will hold the following button. Right click the new buttons region node. Select create button. Set the following properties for this new button. At runtime by clicking this button you will be taken back to orders page. Click the save page button to save your work. Expand SQL workshop menu. Click SQL commands option. Add this trigger code to your schema. This trigger will fire to write order total to the demo orders table when any order item is changed. The trigger will be created and you will see a confirmation on the results tab. Let's give this segment a last final run. Click the run application button. Using the main menu route, open orders page. Click the enter new order button. This time select the new customer option. 
Fill the required fields. Click Next. On the Select Items page, add some products to the current order pane. Click the Place Order button to see the newly created order summary page. In this order summary page, click the Back to Orders button to return to the orders main page. The newly created order will appear in the orders list, in my case it is order number 41. Click this number of the new order to modify it in Order Details page. This is the way to hide developer's toolbar at runtime. Try the delete operation by deleting this new order. In the next video we will going to send email from Oracle Apex application. Thanks for watching.